Hello and welcome back to Prep Bites. Okay, so in the previous session, we had uh, managed to go in and create up our chat routes. And um, there are still a bunch of more routes that we'll have to go in and create so that we can get all of the functionality that we want in our chat application, right? So just to give you an overall overview of what all we have managed to do so far is that we started off with creating our user routes first and foremost, right? So uh, these are routes that we are going to be requiring for the login and the registration process. So uh, these two routes kind of go in and take care of that particular aspect. Okay. So these two, uh, we're going to be go, we've already used it within our uh, login component. So that, uh, so it's a component that I had created for both login and registration. So we already used it. Uh, another component that we had created uh, for demonstrating the authentication middleware was the fetch users uh, route. And the thing is, it just goes in and displays you, uh, you know, I'll just write it up over here, displays or not, not just displays. Okay. It just goes in and returns or displays would be the front end component that does it returns all users who are currently going in and utilizing our application, right? So we're going to be going in and needing this, uh, much later, uh, when we want to display all the users, because we do have a component called as the users component. And the whole purpose of this component is to just go in and display all the uh, set of uh, users who are currently logged in or have registered for our application. Um, talking about the other set of routes, so these were the routes that we had created up in the previous session, uh, which was the chat routes, right? These chat routes, so, so far we've created uh, five of them. There is one more that we're going to be needing to add on to this though. Uh, we have the access chat route and the whole purpose of this chat, uh, of this particular route is so that you can go in and create a chat between uh, a, a few users, between two users. Okay, so this is a route that we're going to be using for one-to-one -one chat creation. Okay, I'm going to write it in here. One-to-one -one chat creation, one-to-one -one chat creation. Okay, okay, that, that misfired up. Let me just go in and erase this. There you go. So one-to-one -one chat creation. This is what uh, we're going to be using this access chat route for. Uh, we have fetch chats, which is what we're going to be using in order to go in and fetch all the chats in a particular chat ID. So if you have a chat ID, okay. So if there's a chat, the chat will contain a lot of messages that are going to go through left and right. Correct. So we want to fetch all of those chats. So for that, we've created this route called as fetch chats. So you provide this route with a chat ID and it fetches you all of the messages that have been part of that, uh, you know, uh, that, that the person has been part of. Okay. So, uh, this is the idea over here. Uh, the next route that we have is the fetch chats, uh, route where the idea is that if there's a person, uh, let's say you are using this application. So you want to go in and get access to all of the chats that you have been a part of. Okay. So access chats will help you to go in and create one-on-one -on -one chats. Fetch chats will go in and fetch all of the chats that you have uh, that you're a part of B eight one to one chats or B eight group chats. It'll this particular route will go in and fetch all of those. Okay. Uh, then we have create group chat, which goes in and creates a group chat for us, fetch groups and then group exit. So we've already discussed these up in the previous session. There is one additional route that we would want to go in and create though. And that is going to be an add self to group chat. Uh, this is something which went out of my mind when I, when we were, when I was going in and creating up all of these routes. So the part over here is that once we go in and we create these groups, we have routes that can go in and create groups for us. But the matter of fact here is that, uh, once a group has been created, uh, the person who's creating the group, which is a group admin will automatically get added into the group. That is good. But, uh, what about another person? What if they want to go in and add themselves to the group? So for that, we had to go in and we'll be creating up this particular route in today's session. And then talking about the other set of routes. Now, another set of routes that we're going to go in and require, uh, is going to be our message routes. Okay. Because ultimately you're going to be sending messages, all of these chats that we are creating, be it uh, one to one chats or be it group chats, all of them will be containing multiple messages inside of them, right? Last messages. And then all the other chats that they have been part of. So we kind of have to go in and create up a few routes to handle the messages. 
So we don't need to do much work. I'll say we just have to go in and implement two of these controllers. The first one will be uh, one to fetch all of the messages in a particular chat. Okay. So if I go in and I give it, um, you know, a chat ID, I want to go in and fetch all of the chats that are present within that chat, right? All the messages present in that chat. And another route that we'll have to go in and mandatorily implement is going to be a send message route, which will help us to definitely go in and, uh, you know, send messages. So the idea here is that anytime I go in and I send a message, I want the message to go in and get wrapped inside of an object because we have to store that. Uh, obviously we'll have to go in and update all of these, uh, information in our database, right? So anytime a message needs to be sent, we'll be going in and using our message model. We'll be keeping track of all the information, like who is the center, what is the content of the message, all of that needs to be wrapped up correctly. And a few additional things need to be done at the back end as well. So these are the two, three routes that we're going to be going in and implementing in uh, today's video, which is going to be, uh, first and foremost, it's going to be add self to group, uh, all messages and the send message route. So these are all of the routes that we're going to be going in and implementing in today's video. Okay. So starting off with our very first route. So I'm going to just directly jump back into VS code over here. And these, this is my chart routes. Okay. So these are these set of chart routes that we already created and I've already created this, uh, add self to group route. Okay. Now the reason we want this particular route is so that as I already, you know, uh, totally be able, we want a user to be able to add himself or herself into a group chat that has already been created by the admin. Okay. Or if you create a group chat, others need to be able to add onto it, right? So that's what we've added. We created this additional route for, and it's fairly easy to go in and implement. Uh, so we're going to be passing it two pieces of information, which is the chat that the person wants to join to, which is a group, uh, because a group chat is also a chat itself. So the chat ID, which is the group ID, you could say, but chat ID, and then we have the user ID of the person who wants to get added. Okay. So, uh, if you want, you can even go in and use the same, um, route to add in a functionality where the group admin is able to add people into the group. But in, in our case, I am kind of going in and make it in such a fashion so that if you are, if you, if you already see a group and you want to go in and get added to that group, you can do so. Okay. So, uh, the, the way to go in and do this is fairly simple. Uh, we're using the find, uh, by ID and update method over here. So by providing it with the chat ID, it's going to go in and find the chat with that specific ID. And then all I have to do is add an additional entry to this users array, right? So if I take you to my users, uh, more, so the, sorry, to this chat model over here, you can see that I have, uh, one of these properties, one of these, uh, properties over here called as users this is nothing but an array, which contains a bunch of users inside of it. So all we're doing uh, within this add self to group controller, uh, is that we are going in and just pushing an additional user into this array called as users. Okay. So just pushing the user ID into that array, uh, kind of makes it so that the person gets added into that chat. Now, once that is done, I'm just populating some additional information that we're going to require. But apart from this, okay, so once this is done, you can just go in and send back the response. Okay. So this, this kind of takes care of the whole part where the person is going to go in and add himself or herself to a particular group. Now, one of the thing that we want to do is apart from this, the main, the main motto over here is to kind of play around with our message routes over here. Okay. Now, as you can see, I've already created both of these controllers over here and both of these routes are protected again, courtesy of the authentication middleware that we've created. Now, uh, the, uh, once the authorization goes in and passes through, we'll be able to go in and fetch all of the messages inside of a particular chat. And alongside of that, you'll be also able to go in and send messages. Okay. So, uh, I've, uh, now one of the things you'll notice over here within the route, is that the, the path, right? Is that I've used a dynamic segment over here. Okay. Now, if you're not familiar with how dynamic segments work, it's fairly simple. Rather than giving a fixed, uh, path for my route, uh, if you put colon and chat ID, it doesn't matter what comes after the slash. Okay. Anything you can go in and give any chat ID that you want. Um, every single route will eventually go in and lead to the all messages controller to go in and getting fired. 
okay so all messages controller will get go in and get fired regardless of whatever follows the slash okay so if it is um you know let's say messages slash uh whatever chat id the all messages controller will go in and get fired and the best thing about this is so this is going to be a parameter right so uh that's kind of the beauty of using dynamic segments here or dynamic parameters here is that i'm going to be able to go in and fetch this particular chart id and do the post processing so uh as you can see you know over here if i just take you through it it uh you can see i'm going in and fetching the uh the chart id parameter uh which is fairly simple so uh, you can give whatever name you want over here so i'm giving the name as chart id and that is the same parameter that i'll be able to fetch from my request object now once i've gone and fetched that the idea here is really really simple uh i'm just going to going to go through all of the messages so i have my collection over here for message right so i'm going to go through all of the messages and uh if um it matches this particular chart id okay then i'm going to go in and populate uh the sender the receiver the chart to this particular object and re return it back as a response that's all okay it's it's as straightforward as that now the next um uh, controller that we have is for sending messages okay send message controller now this is just a uh, pretty straightforward it's a post request that i'm going to go in and make it's again a protected route and the thing over here is i'm going to be providing it with two things over here so if i want to send a message the message is going to have some sort of content inside of it right and apart from that uh, it is also going to go in and have uh, the chat to which the message needs to be sent to okay so i'm going to be pro providing it with the chat id as well as the content that needs to be sent now uh, if they are not uh, you know passed then i'll go in and uh, give back an error a server error and then if everything is fine and all then what i'm going to do is i'm going to go in and create up my new object because we need to go in and create a new entry in our database okay so creating the new entry we are using the create method over here and this is all the information that we're going to be pushing to our database so the sender the content and the chat that the message is a part of so uh, once this is over we are going to go in and make an entry and then populate it with all these information and now though uh, there is one additional thing that we want to do and that is that once a message has been sent uh, the recent most message will be the latest message right it's it's kind of like how the stack works first in uh, you know first out so whichever is the a uh, recent most message always should be uh, highlighted out right so we want to go in and show it up within our sidebar so uh, one of the thing that we're doing is once this entire thing has been populated and we are ready with our message to be sent back as a response one thing that we're doing over here is to update our uh, that chat that it's currently part of so uh, if this message has been sent in this particular chat id then what we want to do is we want to go in and update that particular chat and the property that we want to update is that of latest message okay so whichever chat it is part of whichever chat that message is a part of we're going to update its latest message property with the current message that we are sending okay this is so that we always kind of go in and keep getting the updated latest message so the recent most message is always going to be the latest message and this is going to ensure that if you're sending a message it becomes the latest message so that we can show it up within our sidebar okay and then once this is done we are going to go in and send back our response and if there's any problem we'll be going in and sending back an error so that is an all okay so uh, by going in and taking care of these two routes we kind of have access to all of the routes the three routes which are going to help us to go in and get all of the functionality that we're going to need for our application to work once this is over you can go in and import all three of these routes within your index.js so that you are able to use them within your front end okay so in the upcoming video this is what we'll be doing we'll be going in and integrating our chat routes in with our front end so that you can kind of go in and see how all of these uh, apis fall into place and also work around with our message api as well so that we can go in and uh, send messages and receive messages and show all the messages that have been uh, sent so far okay so that will be all for this particular video i'll see you in the next one